Hi guys, welcome back to Chat with Tessa. You know what, ne? I always speak about investing, hara 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 hara. But now, disinvesting, I mean, there's always that feeling of, okay, I've invested, but then how do I get my money back when I want it? And as you guys know, because I'm in this property buying journey and um, not the full home loan has been approved, it's only a portion that's been approved and it's only 70%, like I said in the previous video. And now I need to come up with 30% of that money, which is over half a million, which is over 500 and something thousand. Right, so where am I gonna find that money? A, this are saves. B, Tessa invests in multiple places. And Tessa has her income from her salary and I have an income from my first property, shop. So there are places where I can find money. Now, my Easy Equities portfolio could solve half of my problems, more than half of my problems, because it's over 300 and something thousand in value right now. So I could like sell off everything and have that money, but no. I don't want to do that because a lot of the investments that are there two years three years five years down the line they're gonna be two three times more than their value right now so I don't want to do that so I was like okay Nishabi Saini Kushabi decides to sell in Tsonga Nishabi Saini Ting Sani so I'm like okay crypto I've had it in my portfolio for a while and I've been through the low lows, you know, low, hey, minus, minus red for, for months, you know. And I've also been through the highs where it has doubled, tripled the value, 100%, 100 and something percent. And then I still didn't sell. And then eh, a few months from now, jiggy, jiggy, we're going downwards again. So I'm like, okay, I've been through the highs and lows of this relationship. So how about I sell now during this high and then maybe, just maybe, this relationship will go downhill again and during that time, I'll come back and invest in it. So it's risky, it is, but you have to find what you are content with, okay? Because I found myself looking at my crypto and saying, oh, today it's a hundred and something percent. Oh, tomorrow it's more. Okay, let me wait, let me wait. Let me not sell now. I would literally be on the sell page and then I'm like, no, 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 not now, not now. And then I come back the next minute or the next hour or the next day and I'm like, ah, I should have sold yesterday. Ah, I should have sold Tsninin. So I was like, uh-uh, Tessa, we're not playing these games now. We cannot time the market, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. A hundred and something percent, I'm happy with that. That means that I have made my money back all of it, right? So I'm gonna take my money plus all that profit, which is all the money that I invested. So we've doubled, okay? And then what I did was I invested in it in the demo account so that I can sort of see what's going on with it so that when it hits those lows, I can then invest in it again in my Easy Equity Zaw account. Luckily, my crypto had been making some good money, around 90 something thousand, which is great. So what I want us to discuss today is like, when do you disinvest? Your money has now worked for you, right? You didn't keep it in the bank where it was like earning 2%, 3% profit or whatever. You invested and your money doubled, your money tripled, it got some profits, right? It has worked for you and now you need it to use for something important, not to go and have a birthday party for your child, nan nan. Find other ways, don't disinvest your money for things like that. I need to disinvest for another big investment, okay? This investment, the second property investment is huge for me, okay? I understand how much it's gonna bring in, so it's worth it for me, right? So, reason to disinvest should be a valid one, right? So that's why you are in disinvesting. Don't disinvest now because you feel like, oh, it's been in the red for too long. Okay, you can't do that, I've done that, okay? But when I disinvested, I didn't take the money out, I invested in something else, right? Okay, it's been in the red for too long, fine. Take it out and invest in something else if you'd like, okay? But now, taking all that money out to be in your bank account to use for what reason? Come on, have a valid reason why you're disinvesting, okay? Now, when do you do it? I can't say. Like, like 
hopefully you get to do it when your investments are in the green of which yes my crypto was in the green it was at a hundred and something percent profit and i was like okay i'm taking it out but also i had that mental you know thing that happened where i was like ah, no wait let me wait for just let me just see tomorrow how it's gonna be ah tomorrow now it's low i'm like ah, i should have taken it out yesterday so find a place in you where you're like okay i'm satisfied with this 20 percent interest that my money has made my investment has made uh this 50 percent interest or this 100 percent interest and get out and, and close your eyes and like move on okay don't dwell on oh but if tomorrow it was uh 100 percent 105 percent 100 and what what percent now on easy equities if you're disinvesting your money will not be available immediately it will not if you disinvest on saturday the stock market is not open it will be a pending order right now five business days i think it's five business days so you need to be counting from monday tuesday wednesday so maybe it will be available by friday and then you need to ensure that your uh, account your bank account details are verified right if they're verified then no problem you can then uh, take your money out after that five business days has passed so here are the screen recordings that can help you see what I did you might also find that when you disinvest in the EC10 it says that the maximum is 69,790 so that means that if you wanted to take out anything more than that you might need to have two different transactions so I selected the second option only sell at a bid that is greater than or equals to that amount that was there and here we go this is what my account looked like after uh, disinvesting and I went on to sell the remaining amount a couple of days after that because I was still you know kind of trying to see if it will gain just a little more profit or not and yeah I eventually sold that second amount and because it was the last amount and it's less than the first amount so um, that amount in red of up to was the total of whatever is left over and then an, a pending order as well now looking at this screenshot right um you guys can see that right at the bottom there where that green circle is it says select your sell order type right type right so it's um sell at best available bid which is then market order what they mean there is that if you've clicked on sell right whatever the bid price is when they're selling they're gonna go with that if it's less than what you saw on the app they're gonna go with that and I don't want that right maybe it could be higher too but I'm like mm -mm. Mina when I saw this um, the price of these shares it was one had 138.86 right that's the price that I was comfortable with which is what I'm seeing currently on the app so when they process my order I only want them to sell at a bid that is greater than or equal to we learned this in math like greater than or equal to 138 rand point 86 cents which is a limited order so that means that they're only going to sell my shares when the price is at 138.86 so then that means that that 138.86 might not be today what if the price because the price changes every second so it might not be today it might not be in the next hour or two hours it might take some time i think with mine it took a couple of hours before i got the email to say that uh my order was then processed with the first one it's almost immediately because they just go with any price right and that price might not be 138 it might be 136 or 137 or less because the price is doing this the whole day in the market it might even be higher but i'm like mm -mm, i don't know if it's gonna be higher but i don't mind it just being 138 i don't want it to be less right so i always select the second option not where that green dot is at the moment right so it also tells you as well what are available funds what's unsettled cash please read please read guys please read and we don't have to go through this right now here right and remember that it takes five business days in order for your for for that money to be available for you to withdraw right now if you wanted that money earlier there's a fee that you need to pay 
if you need it immediately and you cannot wait five business days there's a fee that you need to pay if you're willing to pay that fee you can just check those boxes and um you can settle the money immediately that's also fine now what about my other investments if i get to a point where i need more money and i cannot get that money from the money that i make from my first property or from my savings from my salary and all of that maybe i'll choose another investment that i'll decide if i'm gonna sell it and when i make that decision obviously i'll share that with you guys but i would say be invested for the long term only disinvest when necessary when it's really really necessary other than that try to avoid it and what you disinvest invest in it in your demo account like assess its growth check it daily weekly and all of that and then whenever you want to take it back to your easy equity czar account you can just look at that pattern of growth from your demo account and then know okay maybe right now is the great time for me to get back into that investment right financial chats with Tessa family thank you for your questions that you always ask in my dms on instagram and one of the questions that somebody asked that was very important is taxes when it comes to selling your shares and that income that you're getting from your investment what what are the tax implications there so easy equities I think will and I stand to be corrected I think every tax year they send you uh, your tax certificate and stuff for your um, when you're submitting your tax returns right so it's not like every single time when you sell they're gonna be uh, sending sending you that certificate for your income tax returns no I think it's per tax year when you submit your taxes this is something that you would need to submit as well right so I don't think it's something you have to worry about right now but it has to be an income that is then declared when you are filing for your taxes uh, when the tax season starts yes standing to be corrected anyone who works at easy equities who might be watching this please leave us a comment to educate us more on that remember that on easy equities they have the frequently asked questions uh, section where you can find out some of this information if you ever needed to on there right so guys you can catch me on financial chats underscore this on instagram feel free to send through your requests anything that you don't understand that you need to be explained further any questions that you have um pay attention to the insta stories that's where i engage the most and yeah thank you nikansa i hope that this was helpful share it with someone within your community that can be your friend your family colleague neighbor you know let's share the knowledge goodbye